to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, can never spoil and never fade. We're gonna be studying the book of 1 Peter in the New Testament together. And Peter writes to Christians who are learning to live out their faith in a whole new world. He doesn't want them to be surprised by suffering and persecution. In fact, he wants them to see incredible opposition as actually an incredible opportunity to live out their faith and to show the difference that Jesus makes. So live your life in such a way that when people who don't follow Jesus see how you're living, it will refute the prejudices that they have. Then Peter says they will be won over and one day they will give glory to God when Jesus returns. Our genuine love for people demonstrated in action has the potential to be the most powerful apologetic to the world today. And so he challenges us as well to live out what we say we believe. We have this hope in heaven that cannot be touched. And it doesn't spoil, it doesn't diminish, it doesn't fade. Our hope is alive and he has a name. His name is Jesus and he is a hope that does not disappoint. As Peter did, we will live increasingly in a hostile world, but our God cares for us. We can offer our worries to him and we can embrace the hope that one day we will be with him forever. Peace to all of you who are in Christ.